Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a fairly new release by Godiva Secret Wigs and her name is Joy. This is what she looks like and I have her in the color Frosted Taupe, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're looking at a young lady by the name of Joy who is a new release for 2024 from Godiva Secret Wigs. This is what she looks like. She is a pixie, but more like a bixie if you ask me. Anyway, she's got lots of long layers on the top and she is a lace front and a mono top to boot. So uh, this color is Frosted Taupe, beautiful. Icy platinum blonde, almost kind of a hint of gray, but boy, this is a gorgeous color. I can't wait to get her on. Anyway, so let's take a look at her cap construction, okay? Obviously, we already mentioned she has a lace front and a mono top, complete all the way across the top, and it's a double layer mono top, which I personally find very, very nice. It reduces the itchiness of that lace front or that mono um, top. Look at the size of this lace front. Look how deep that is. That's about a two inch deep lace front. And it goes from high temple to high temple. We also have closed ear tabs with fab or fiber stitched on the underside. We've got really significant metal stays in the right and left. Very, very nicely done. We have a standard nape covered with velveteen fabric as well as buckle adjusters on the right and left. Then we have all those rows of uh, horizontal hair curtains that are... Um, making that nice and comfortable. Frosted taupe is such a popular color. Oh my gosh, I know all, a lot of my clients like it. It's an ashy colored um, platinum with a little bit of hint of brown in it. I mean, it's just really hard to beat it. So, um, but if you're in that in between and you're more of a silvery or blonde more than silver, this is a great color for you. Okay, and she also has this beautiful white or creamy white area around the front. Can you see that? That's part of the bangs right along here on that lace front. It's just, it's just done so beautifully. Look at that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get her on, alrighty? Okay, what I have on today is Dallas by Polly Young in the color Toast, um, Buttered Toast. It's SF. 10 26. I've done a review on her. I'll put that right up here. You can go look at her whenever you like. Okay, for now, we're going to try on Joy. Okay, there she is. Oh, again, we have another one of my favorite kind of pixies. This is long top, long front fringe. Oh my gosh, and sleek and tapered in the back. Oh my goodness. I love these kind. They're just so fun. I think they have so much styling potential. Don't you? Okay, let me do a real quick spin for you. Alrighty, just right out of the bag or right off the mannequin, right? <laughs> Here she is, nice and neat, all the way around. Nice little trim neckline, perfect for summertime perfect for summertime don't you think oh my gosh okay so let's see i think i'll read about her dimensions first before we start playing with her okay Alrighty. so it says she weighs 2.5 ounces and the bangs are five and a half inches so they're they're nice and long you can trim them to whatever length that you need We've got a crown that's three and a half inches. So it's a little bit shorter up here, giving us a little bit more flexibility with being able to have that spike up or increase a little bit more height in our profile. You can still lay her down because three and a half inches is still long enough for it to lay flatter, okay? And then the nape is 1.75 um, inches. And that gives you just enough to make it look neat and trim. How's that look back here? It feels like it 
it should be very nice there. Oh, it feels really good. Now I have to say that this cap feels wonderful with the lace front, the mono top, everything, the, the elastic that they're using in this particular wig feels very nice and stretchy, very, very stretchy. So it comfortably comes and covers a lot. Look at how much that covers my sideburn area. It covers it really nicely and it's like that on both sides. So I get a lot of good coverage coming coming forward on this, this profile. So I feel like I'm covered so nicely. Comfortable, all right, there's my widow's peak. And if you don't have a widow's peak, this is what the hairline is going to look like. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And then of course, we've got, we've got the mono top, which allows you to part it anywhere you want and have it look like now, do I happen to have a darker, I think I might, I have a darker wig grip band on underneath here. Oh my gosh, so you're gonna be able to see that. <laughs> but you can use whatever color or not even use a colored uh, grip band underneath there. So let's take a look at this. How does she look to you? You know, she reminds me of a couple of other Godiva Secret wigs. She reminds me a little bit with this asymmetrical length here or it coming down a little bit longer. She reminds me of Kelly, but not quite so long and fringy. So she's shorter. She also reminds me of, is it Selma or Peggy? <coughs> I think it's Peggy. It reminds me of Peggy because Peggy has that same kind of flatter look on here. Um, she just isn't quite as long. So if you like Peggy and you want a little more length or another one just to style slightly different, for your likings, this girl would be the ticket, right? Okay, so I parted her on the my left, which I believe is where they have her parted in the catalog, in the pictures. But um, I've got her parted off to the side a little bit more than I do straight and center, but you could do straight and center if you wanted as well. Okay, so we can bring the side swept fringe over here more onto the face, couldn't we? Bring that forward a little bit. See how that looks? But this beautiful, light, creamy white front fringe is so pretty, isn't it? Very, very pretty, very pretty. And so let's play with her a little bit. Let's, okay, if you wanted to do bangs straight down, you could certainly do that right in the middle. Give yourself a little thicker bang, or even, um, you know, if you trim them, that would be a great way to do that. You don't have to trim them. I did pull this up off of my forehead a little bit more so that I didn't have to trim, but it gives you, gives you that option of having a little bit longer bang at one point in time so you can sweep it across, or you can raise it up and, and have a shorter bang. But that's all, oh, that's really cute. And then of course, let's try it from my right and see how she does that way. And of course we could, we could do a side swept bang from that side too. And she works just as well because of the mono top. That works really nice. Oh, can you see that little bit of low light right there? The highlight in the front and then the low light. Ah, so pretty. Yes, this is a really great addition to the Godiva Secret Wigs lineup. I'll tell you what, they're starting to add so many more lace fronts and, and mono tops. Lace fronts, that's great. Anything. Mono tops with lace fronts, that's even better. How great is that? But oh, fun, beautiful. Okay, now let's come forward. Let's do it all forward and see how that looks. Yeah, it looks almost like the Beatles, right? <laughs> anyway, or a Carol Channing. How about that? Yeah, that would work. Okay, you could trim those off really well. And then we can just sweep it up and off your face. How elegant does that look? That looks very, very elegant, doesn't it? Very sleek and chic. Yeah, I would, I would probably take my my hair dryer and just blow a little bit right here 
and then hold that in place and actually take a tiny little bling or two or three and put them all right in a row or right there, cluster them to hold my bang back. That's very elegant, isn't it? Just so elegant and chic. That's one nice thing about these lace fronts. Oh my gosh, they, they can make, they can go from so easy casual to elegant and formal so quickly. It's, it's beautiful. So how about we go outside and see what she looks like in daylight, all right? Okay, this is Frosted Taupe Outdoors. Isn't that color gorgeous? The color blend is more distinctive outside, isn't it? You can really see it a lot better. So pretty. And then, of course, if I wanted to lay that down, you can see more of the color. Oh, so pretty. Let's see, I do, there we go. You've got a little bit uh, feathering. Is that what we used to call it, feathering there? We got a little bit of sideburn here. Oh gosh, how cute. Beautiful blonde color. It is, it's got that sophisticated blonde color. Okay, let's look at the top. Yeah, did you guys get that? Okay. But so pretty, isn't that? Beautiful frosted taupe. <laughs> okay, let's go back inside. Okay, let's try some water on this young lady. Okay, well, just like we already knew, water helps make it more defined. It brings out more of the dimension. You can see that it accentuates the highlights and accentuates the low light. So there's more contrast between those two kinds of um, color intensity. So it's just, oh, it's just so funny. I can feel the tag. So hopefully it's not interfering too much with what you're being able to see. But isn't this a gorgeous little wig? Oh my gosh. It's a staple for everyone. Whoever thinks that they want to wear a pixie, this is a gorgeous wig. By Godiva Secret Wigs, this young lady is Joy. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun. You guys have a great week and I will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.